Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing numeric data. This is standard 6.12a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a list of flour and pounds for 15 days, and we need to represent it as a box plot. Now, we are in luck. For this particular problem, they already put it in order because that is step one. All right, so step one is put in order. And you have to put in order from least to greatest to greatest to least. I always prefer least to greatest because nothing else works if you don't do that, but they've already done this for us. So there's 15 numbers here. And so let's just make sure we understand what each of these things represent, right? So it's called a box plot, sometimes called a box and whisker plot. It's gonna look something like this. It might not necessarily be symmetrical and that's fine. Okay, so uh, these two endpoints right here are going to be the range. So that's going to be the lowest number and that's going to be the highest number. So we could say step two, find the range. Well, if you've got them in order, super easy. Lowest number is 16, highest number is 35. So we need to find some charts here, some box plots that go from 16 to 35. So F is looking good. Uh, G, I'm already going to go ahead and get rid of, because look, it goes to 16 to 35. So uh, that's not going to work. H, H is fine with 16 to 35. J is fine with 16 to 35. All right, so we got rid of one. Now, this right here is the median. So that's the middle number. So if it's, so step three, we're going to find the median. That's the middle. If it's an odd number, um, I'm going to say middle, just because sometimes we remember that easier. If it's an odd number, it's super easy, and it is. So if what we need to do is we just need to find the number exactly in the middle that's got the same uh, number on each side, right? So I can do uh, seven and seven. Right, and I can have one in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. So that's my median right there. Twenty-nine. Because I've got seven on each side. You're looking for the middle number. If it's an odd number, you're good. If it's an even number, then there's gonna be two numbers in the middle and you're gonna have to take the average of those two or the mean of those two. So I'm looking for this middle number here to be 29. Okay, so we're looking good on F. Uh, we were looking good on G, but the range is gone. Oh, look, we got a problem there with H. That says the middle number is 26. Uh, and we are good on J. All right, so we've gotten rid of F and J. So now we've got the quartiles. And then we're good. Find the quartiles. Okay, so that's our, that's going to be these two little boxes right here. First quartile and third quartile. And so I always think of it as finding the median of the first half and the median of the second half. So look at this first half, right? It goes from 16 to 24. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. Middle number. That's my quartile, 19. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Find the middle number. So you're finding the median of the first half, the median of the second half, and there's your quartile. That's actually quartile 3. This is quartile 1. The median technically is quartile 2. So we're looking for these little boxes on 19, looking good on F, and we're looking good on, yeah, on 19 and 32. And J, nope, uh, the first quartile is wrong. So our answer here is going to be F. 